Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Cave with Big Kev. Thank you for tuning in. This episode is going to be about the Rush 12 from 511. All right, guys, let's go over the bag. First of all, uh, I won this bag, which I'm absolutely stoked about. And um, I just want to thank the guys on Boba for running an absolutely fab fabulous uh, Facebook page. It's a really good community. So that's Bug Out Bags Australia. Uh, so this was up for grabs, and I never really thought that I'd win this, but uh, it came through. So I'm absolutely made up with it. I, I really can't afford to buy anything like this, and I was actually looking at upgrading my work bag. So this is the perfect size and uh, it's just got so many features that um, it, I can use this for uh, a day hike or a get home bag or a work bag or whatever. So let's go over some things here. It's um, 1050D nylon, it makes it semi waterproof. Um, so not heavy rain, but a light sprinkle and it's, your gear's not gonna get wet inside. So we'll go over the front here and as you can see this thing is absolutely laden with molly webbing which is absolutely fantastic even on the sides here as well. Uh, so you can really up your capacity uh, if you fill the bag with stuff. So that's a really good feature and I, I'm pretty sure that most 511 bags come with that as well. Uh, the stitching is second to none, it's just so thick and durable. I really, really love it. We've got some hook and loop here for your morale patches. Um, got some compression straps here. And we have some self repairing zippers from YKK. So easy to undo and do back up again. We've got a top pocket up here. Good for a little survival kit or a first aid kit. So just the compression straps on the side there, made from good quality clips. Nice and snappy. Up here we've got our heavy duty, uh, heavy duty carry handle. So. I mean, you can load this thing up and you know that's not gonna break off. So, really good. And also, on each side, we have a hook and loop flap there that you can poke your hydration bladder through, and there's one on each side. So, going through to the back. We'll go over the straps. So what we've got is a really good feature that I like that if you have to dump this thing real quick, you've got some clips there. And that just dumps it straight off your back. What I really like about this design is that these clips here are up high on the strap here so they're not gonna dig into you while you're walking, which is a really great feature, I really like it. At the moment, these are a little bit tough to pull through, but with a little bit of wear, they'll soften up and then they'll, uh, they should come right. We've got some molly attachments up here as well, and we also have an adjustable uh, chest strap there. So this here just clips off, and then you can move that to whichever position that you want. So just another good feature. It's always good to have a chest strap. Um, it just stops these uh, straps here from parting on your shoulders and we'll put that on later and we've got some more loops up here to feed your hydration bladder through uh, one thing that I would have liked on here uh, if 511 would have put it on here is the uh, the little clip that the hydration bladder hose can clip into but I've got some on uh, another bag then I'll just put that on there so we'll flip these over. And we'll go through the back here. Now, this didn't come with a waist strap, but uh, evidently 
it comes with these buckles here that you can attach some to. So a bit of an aftermarket thought there, which I really like. So it just gives you that option. This pad here is really comfortable. There's a solid backing in there. So nice and padded. And also that unzips and that's where you put your hydration bladder. So we have a clip here, well Velcro loop there for your hydration bladder or it comes with these little clips. I don't know if you can see that, but these little clips here that you can hook through your hydration bladder. And if you don't like that hard backing, then you simply unvelcro this and remove it. So there's plenty of options there already. All up this thing has 16 pockets in it, or 16 storage things in it. So we'll flip these back over. And right at the top of the bag here, we have another pocket which is fleece lined for your sunglasses. So another really good feature. Not sure I went over the zips, but these are YKK self-repairing zips, if I didn't mention it before. So in the admin pouch, we have another pocket in here, nice and deep, so you can fit a book or chopping board, a little chopping board or something. So that's really good. Another big, large pocket here. There's maybe some first aid gear, couple of pens, I'd say that's set up for a mag pouch, um, but uh, you could uh, carry anything there. And a couple of pockets down the bottom there. Another really good feature with this bag is these little clips here. Well, if you've got some expensive little bits of gear or fiddly gear that you don't want to fall out of your bag when you open it up and lose them, you just clip them on there and uh, good to go. I just love how easy these zips are to do up. So now that we've gone through that one, we'll go through the main pouch. Another really nice feature of this bag is that it clamshells. I really do like a clamshell style bag. Just allows you to pack your gear in there nice and easy and then close it up. You don't have to sift through the bottom of your bag with your arm buried elbow deep into it trying to find your gear. You can just open it straight up. So in the, uh, the main compartment here, we have this back pocket here, and that comes with some shock cord and a toggle, so you can tighten that up. And then on the lid here, we have two mesh pouches for a little bit more storage just so you can compartmentalize your gear um, and so you know where it is at any one time. These bags retail for about $120 to $140 depending on where you're buying it. Um, I, I really I really can't pick on it. I just can't. I was going to say the waist strap, but there's, it's got the option there to put your own waist strap on there. And the hydration bladder clip. That's really the only two things that I can pick on this bag that um, could have been better. Actually, on the back here, you've got a bit of a drain hole there as well, just in case your hydration bladder leaks. And they can just drain straight out. Um, the chest strap is elasticated a little bit so you just get that tension there it's just a great bag i just i really just can't fault it and the build quality on these things is just phenomenal you know i bought a little 30 dollar bag online and i thought it was the duck's nuts but um when, once you get the quality in your hands uh, you you really just can't go back can you so i, I really do like these compression straps as well just so that, you know, if you don't have the gear in there to fill your bag, 
you can just tighten these down and it's just going to stop your gear from moving around and um, and potentially putting you off balance while uh, either running or rock hopping or whatever it is that you're doing so there you go guys that is the rush 12 from 511 tactical absolutely fabulous i rate this bag this is a really nice bit of kit and i really can't wait to start using it so yeah that's all i've got to say about it Thank you very much for watching the video guys. If you wanna check me out on Facebook and Instagram, go and check me out at the Man Cave 4301. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, share the video, uh, give me a thumbs up, and uh, hit the bell for notifications as well. So Facebook and Instagram, you'll get some behind the scenes sort of stuff as well. And uh, I really can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So thank you very much, I'll see you later.